What's up guys, Kate here from Metal Darts and today I'm going to be telling you why you need to be using the Bullseye more when playing games of darts. Okay, so we're now at the board. Uh, you can't quite see my face, but the board is the important part. For me, there are three main reasons why you should go for the Bullseye. Uh, the first reason being uh, it gives yourself a chance when on a high number. When playing a game of 501, uh, especially sort of on the 132, when you're 132 you'll often see people go for the Bullseye. Uh, the reason for this is it gives them a better chance of actually reaching a finish at the end of the leg. Um, if you're 132 and you went for 20 and you hit the treble 20, uh, that leaves you 72. Now the problem is with 72 is you have to hit another treble uh, before going for your double. You have to hit the treble 12, treble 16 or whatever treble you want to hit. Um, whereas if you go for the bullseye, if you hit it, that gives you 82 left. Now you can sort of choose which way you go. You can either go bullseye again or double 16, or you can go treble 14 for tops. And that's how you would do it. If you hit 25 on your first start, however, this still leaves you 107. Now the advantage to this is the bullseye is a bigger target than say the treble 20. So if you miss the 20, you wouldn't leave yourself with a two dart finish. However, when you hit the 25, it leaves you with 57, and then hopefully this dart hasn't blocked you off. You can go for the bullseye, and that's your one, three, two. The second reason uh, is actually to get yourself down to a finish. So this reason is slightly different. Say you are stuck on 235. Um, if you hit a straight 60, it leaves you 70, uh, 175 which isn't a finish however if you go 20 20 and then go down for the bullseye if you hit the bullseye that gives you uh, 90 that will leave you 145 or if you hit 25 that's 65 it leaves you a 170 or the big fish so using the bullseye in this situation to make sure you get down to a finish is absolutely key uh, similarly when you need a 65 to get you down to 167 or something similar um, using the 25 is a really good way of getting that extra 5 points off a bigger target uh, because if you hit the bullseye you don't get punished, you're still gaining more score on top. The final reason is probably the reason you actually probably know the most which is why I've left it till last because people are probably clicked off by now. Um, this main reason is again just giving yourself a chance at a shot at the bullseye. So this is using the bullseye for a finish rather than starting a combination. So in this example we're going to go with 84 because that's probably the more, more common way I sort of leave to go this route. Um, 84 generally you'll go triple 20 and double 12 uh, and that's your 84 checkout. However, if you miss the 20 that leaves yourself 64 and two darts in hand. Now if your opponent's not on a finish I would still recommend going triple 16, double 8 or just hitting the two singles to leave yourself a double 16. The difference here is if your opponent's on a finish you kind of want to have a dart at a double and leaving yourself 64 you want to go for 14 for bullseye. Again the reason for this is the big 14 segment is a lot easier to hit than that treble 16 segment and it gives you a shot at the bullseye even if you're not uh, as good of a shot on the bullseye or you think the bullseye is a smaller target um, it's better than trying to go treble for double than it is to go big single for the bullseye. Obviously with this you actually need to hit the big number, so make sure you do that before you even try and attempt the bullseye. Don't think you're gonna go for the bullseye before you hit the big number. Really focus and don't miss that big number. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope it's helped you out a little bit if you haven't sort of really focused on going for the bullseye in certain ways. Uh, like I said, the last route was probably more common for people, but the other two maybe not so much. If you did enjoy the video and it's helped you out, don't forget to leave a like down below and also comment what you want to see next in terms of tips and tricks and maybe practice games that you want to see. As this video comes out, we are pushing towards a thousand subscribers, or at least as this video is filmed. So uh, I'd like to thank you guys who have all subscribed and also those of you who haven't subscribed yet and you enjoy my content, don't forget to click that red button down below and also click the notification bell to be notified when I upload. As I said guys, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.